Another breaking news story right now, and this is a big one this morning. Just into our CBS2 newsroom, a major announcement this hour from utility giant Southern California Edison. SoCal Ed has just revealed it is going to be closing the troubled San Onofre nuclear power plant here in Southern California. This is a bombshell announcement. The plant in northern San Diego County has been offline for months because of a mechanical fault with faulty tubing that led to trace amounts of radiation being leaked, but that just the latest in a number of environmental problems at San Onofre over the years along the coastline. Environmentalists have tried for decades to close San Onofre down, and this morning, Word from the Associated Press that Southern California Edison says it will be closing the troubled San Onofre nuclear power plant for good. As we get more details, we'll bring them to you here on CBS2. They'll be calling you a radical. Cubs win, Cubs win, Cubs win, Cubs win. I've been thinking about this since the day at the hearing when I told Joni Ray, thank you for letting me stay on your couch. Thank you for all you grass. I think thinking. I told her that day when I met Kathy Iwin and I hugged her and Jean Stone handed me that shirt and we went into that meeting and I told her that night, we're going to win. I've been in this fight for 40 years, as you know. I said, we're going to win. This is going to be the first David versus Goliath. This is going to be knocking the bankers off. This is going to be such a giant marquee. I, I knew it. I felt it. Ever since the day when I, I told Lonnie Clark up there the other day, they will never allow public hearing. Never. I knew that we were going to win this war that day. I didn't know it till then. I always thought we were going to lose, always thought, but I just kept fighting and kept fighting against all odds. This is the greatest freaking story in our lifetimes. This is the, this is David just freaking killed Goliath as he reached into the bag and he slung the stone and it embedded in his forehead and he dropped to the ground. This is so, Cubs win. I've been thinking, how are you going to do this video? How are you going to do this video when this happens? Cubs win. Cubs win. Cubs win. Cubs win. This is so marquee giant. I've never been so emotional the last two days. My epic fight with cancer has been 600 days. Yesterday, what timing. I knew as I put up that video when I went to the waterfall right there on those cliffs. Right there. That's where I was at. Clear up on the top of those cliffs. I felt it at the bottom of that thing when I met the paramedic and those, I knew it. I knew it the last two days. I have never in the last 48 hours the utopic feeling that has been through my body and my mind is something that I cannot even describe. I was in there for my heavy tests. I've had horrible tests, horrible tests for the whole 600 days. I knew that I was going to get a good test yesterday. I knew it. I told him in there. I was on the train, I was thinking about the train last night, and I was thinking about this epic battles. I walked out of the clinic yesterday. Celeste says, Kevin, come here. She's the old secretary, she's been there for decades. She says, I did the dictation when you come in on 11-11-11. I prepared all the documents for this amazing team of doctors that saved my life and nurses. She says, I want to tell you how proud I am of you and how amazing, and she says, I hope you understand what a walking miracle that you are. I hope you know this. I've been here for years, thousands and thousands. I did the paperwork when you landed here. There's no way you should have lived even another 24 hours. There's no way you should be alive. You are a walking miracle. You're the biggest walking miracle out of thousands and thousands of pages that's ever walked out of here. The cancer that I had that was wrapped around my tumor that attacked me was so brutally hard for as doctor after doctor after doctor had it wrong in the Ogden emergency room here at McKD, that is the worst place on earth. They should be sued 10,000 fucking times. Or the emergency room at McKD Hospital are the biggest malice criminals. They sent home me to die. The doctors that sent me home to die. As I fought with them, I fought with them to the doctor, the pathologist in New York who found the, I found the YouTube video, it's 14 views says, hey, they get it wrong. I diagnosed myself in so many ways, and then Dr. Hanson stepped in. As I threw down, I says, I have the fucking ability to pay. Don't fucking do this to me. Don't fucking send me home to die. I have the ability to pay. They're fucking wrong. I know they're fucking wrong. I'm not going to let them fucking open me. And his brilliant, beautiful fucking mind, as he knows me, my uncle was his old business partner. That brilliant genius who saved me from the grave. 
who told me don't them ever let them open you, Kevin, unless you're going to die. Thomas Blanche started the Arden Clinic from his grave. I heard his way, and me and him didn't even get along. He really didn't even like me that much, you know, as because my ways and his ways, but he respected me and I respected him. But I knew he was a brilliant genius. And that vice saved my life. And I told him what, I told Dr. Hansen what his old business, and he says he was the most brilliant man I ever knew, Kevin. You remind me so much of him and he saved my life. <laughs> we got the news this morning. <laughs> Is it time to celebrate? Fuck yes. I've been in this fight for songs for four years. The day they loaded my father in the body bag at, you know, the Pendleton Marine, I was so heartbroken. And I've told people over and over this story, over and over. Everybody's like, get over it, get over it. And I says, I will never fucking get over this pain. It's just the same as it was all those years ago, loading him in that body bag. I will never fucking get over it. Oh, curse and spite that I was born to set this right. As I've been telling my freaking grandmother since I was a boy that I've been living the country and western version of Hamlet. Oh, do I know this truth now. To Ray Lutz, to Gene Stone, to Kathy Iwan, to Shane Russell, to Freaking Marine in Manhattan, to all the activists in Canada, to Jan, Miss Mickey the Clown, all of us that have fought this information war and exposed this madness of songs and the nuclear fucking lie it's, it's your win you did this all of you did this you are David you're legendary this is historic this is so historic this is everybody sitting always around here I'm the walking talking history book of the area and they know it finish your book Kev finish your book finish your book you just watched my book play out in real time. This is modern day literature. As I've always said, it doesn't, literature doesn't change things around the edges as they've said, it, it doesn't change the court. No, that's so untrue and I just proved it's untrue. As you all just proved it's untrue. It does change at the court. Because knowledge is power. The truth is power. Truth just overcame lies. Good just overcame evil. David just killed Goliath. Southern California? Oh yeah, I'm still heading there. And oh, am I going to celebrate all summer long. The doctors, I got that report yesterday. I was so emotional on the train coming home. And I just thought, and I thought on the train coming home, I've been so emotional. Because I knew, I knew this path is over. I tell everybody, I can feel it. This cancer is extracting out of my body. I know it is. I can feel it. 600 days on D-Day. I thought, Kevin, you know, I started thinking about my 600-day path. I started thinking about my 40 years of Stegner and Abby, my father, and, you know, my tree-hugging activism, and Jean Stone, whose daughter's fighting her cancer war. I think of you, and I think of all of you so much, and I love you so much. It's time to freaking put that in the museum. We're not afraid anymore. So I was thinking on the train, what an accomplishment, surviving, I'm like, no, no. My work on this vlog in the last three years, I was thinking, everything that I've accomplished in my life and everything, this is my greatest freaking moment. This is my greatest work. And I thought that last night on the train before I found this news. I, I was thinking to myself on the train last night, so emotional. I had a long talk with myself, and I've made a lot of mistakes in my life, and I've done a lot of dumb shit in my life, and I've lived off the freaking cuff. I just went with it on my pure emotions. I didn't give a fuck. I stand in the face of fucking all fucking contemporary ideas. I didn't give a fuck. I was fucking hammered down hard for it. I thought to myself, I am so proud of this fucking vlog. It's the greatest fucking work I've ever fucking done. I was thinking last night, and I, all night. And I talked to my daughter in Manhattan. I says, I'm really so proud of my work. You know, a lot of people say whatever they want in my radical ways the greatest work I've ever done. It's the greatest art I've ever created. It's my book. You just got to watch it. It's literature. It is book. And everybody gets to watch it for free. Time to celebrate? Yes. Yes. And I'm going to get California. I can't wait to go to Del Mar this year as I've missed it the last two years. That beautiful, 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 magnificent place right there where that reactor is. This is one giant, giant, giant freaking day any earth lover
Thank you to all of you down there. Thank you for all your information, ours. Wow. You should pat yourselves on the back. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Celebrate. Celebrate. Love life. Because what you accomplished right now is so gigantic. I've been in this fight for 40 years. Stegner would freaking hug us. I, I, I wish I could freaking see Edward Abbey right now. Oh, he would be dancing. Stay on tune. We need to get subscribed and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, that's what this is about. Like I say, go to the Remix button, hit the Remix button. That way you'll have this video and, and keep up with this. Otherwise, you know, YouTube's just going to control us, guys, and it's, it's really bad.